Anyway, um, Amber, you're going to go first. So, so tell us the thing. What's your story? Okay, my story is. Um, Good, the, the way I, we do this, rem- remind me, is we just we come out with a statement, and then you ask questions, and then you ask questions. It's a statement, and then we we ask lots and lots of searching questions, and then when we're satisfied, we we say whether we think it's lie a lie or whether we think it's the truth, yes, and justify our reason, and then um, the person reveals it, and then we sco- we we count the scores. Okay. 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 All right, Amber. I hesitated to share this with you, but here it is. I um. I once left Hugo. I left him and yeah. I went home. <gasps> I abandoned him. You aban- and went home. You abandoned Hugo. Yeah. Hugo is your 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 child. Yes. Right, we have to establish that. He is my son. Okay. He is my baby. He was my baby. So he is my child. So you abandoned your son Hugo. How old is he again? Three. He's three. Okay. Oh, yeah. And, and yeah. And when you abandoned him, how old was he? He was a few months old. Just a few months old. Yes. <laughs> Like a little baby. <laughs> yes. A baby, a tiny baby. A oh new, my God. A very new baby. Oh, my goodness. He was only a few months old, yeah. Wow, shocking. Yes. If it's true. Yes. Paul? Uh, did you do it on purpose? No, I didn't do it on purpose. Okay. I didn't by, do it on purpose. Did you do it by accident? I did it by accident. Okay. Um, and so how long did you leave him? How long was he abandoned for? I left him abandoned enough time to get upstairs to unpack the shopping, of which there was frozen stuff, and make myself a cup of tea. So he was what? It was in the apartment? He was in the, the you know, where you put the bikes and prams? You know, when you come home yeah. and downstairs, m- most buildings, maybe your building, has like a lock up where you put your bikes and prams? Like mm. a bit in the back of the building where you keep bikes and prams. Yeah. You, you left him there and you rushed upstairs to your apartment. <laughs> you unpacked all the frozen food. I didn't food. rush upstairs. I was quite tired and I had a bags and bits and I, I opened the door and I put the pram in and I took out my bits because you know prams have got a big space at the bottom I took out my bits and I had my bag and I got everything and I went I locked the door and I went upstairs and I unpacked the shopping and put it all away and put the kettle on made a cup of tea and sat down and was like <laughs> you made a cup of tea as well <laughs> and l- meanwhile little baby Hugo is in a bike shed at the in bottom. the pram yeah in the pram in the pram was the uh, was the bike room? Let's call it the bike room, right? Yeah. Was the bike storage room locked? I had locked it, but everyone in the building has a key, right? Okay. So, okay, could then. have technically mm. gone in and found him. But I mean, I had locked it. Okay. Yeah. Paul, I don't know. No further questions, Your Honor. Really, no further <laughs> questions? No, I don't on. know. No, no. Uh, I've got more questions. Go so, on. So, what? Uh, why on earth did you do that? I mean, when you've had a baby, yeah, you do get very tired, mm-hmm. and there's two things: you you tired. So you, I mean, I did leave my keys often in funny places, would find like them in the fridge or you know the butter in the cupboard or just weird things like that, just from tiredness. And so I think I was a bit tired. I think you're not necessarily still used to having a baby, even though you're like have it the whole time, all the time with you. Yeah. But I I think I was just on that. You know, I've, my hand, my arms were full because I'd done shopping. So I had this sort of feeling of like having everything, going upstairs and then just unpacking, just kind of going on to automatic pilot, like unpacking everything's as it should be. It's fine. It's fine. It's sit down. <gasps> okay. I hadn't left him out like at the supermarket. So of course it was by accident. This is the point. I hadn't meant. I didn't mean to leave him downstairs. You did it by accident. I yeah, did yeah. it by accident, but it still it still happened. Just out of forgetfulness because you were so tired at, at, at having to bring him up. Okay. Yeah. There, there wasn't maybe part of you that kind of did it on purpose. Maybe. Deeply. Because, you know... Maybe annoying. somewhere deeply I was thinking, God, just leave me alone! Yeah. I'm so tired! I just want to have a cup of tea! <laughs> 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 I'll do anything for a cup of tea! I'll lock you downstairs! And so... If, if Paul, if you've got no more questions, let me just ask one or two others. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, 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 at what point did you realise that you'd left your son downstairs? I made the tea. Oh, I put the kettle on as I was unpacking. I was just, you know what you do? You get home and you take everything out and you sort of unpack it, put the mm. kettle on. I made some tea. And then when I went to take it to sit down, I just had this, you know, this like sick feeling, this horrible 
I mean, I knew instantly what had happened, this sick, sick feeling. And I ran downstairs. I thought it was going to be sick. I couldn't even walk back up the stairs. What was... Because uh, I felt like so... You know, you just feel like so shaky and awful. And what was his reaction when you... When he was you asleep. Oh, he was asleep. I think this was part of it as well. Like, I'd, he'd fallen asleep at the supermarket. I'd come home. He was quiet. And, I, and somewhere in my mind, I was thinking, he's calm and quiet. I don't need to worry about him. He's sleeping soundly check like i've okay. like he's nice and calm i'll get this done so i think somewhere in my mind i'd sort of put it like oh the baby's okay and he was okay but he could have been really not okay i mean yeah if i'd have left if i don't know <laughs> did you tell your boyfriend um not straight away not have you told him i have told him yes. you have told him yes now. i did tell him how but not he, straight away how did he react if can i ask he was fine i didn't mention the cup of tea <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just said I went upstairs and then ran back down and so, he said it was fine so everything was o- pretty laid back yeah it was all okay in the end it was fine but it's a terrible thing to do as a mother to abandon your baby because it sort of means like somewhere like what you were saying like could I abandon him yeah could I forget him like is he so meaningless that like <laughs> so so did you yeah I, I imagine you said you felt really sick how long did that feeling last that lasted a while Really? A while. That what sort of horrible adrenaline-y... Ugh. What do you mean when you say a while? Because that can be a short time or a long time, can't it? A while. I don't How long do you have to wait? Oh, it's only a while. Well, I mean, no. I felt guilty. For a long for the, time. For the, I mean, for the rest of the day, I felt very guilty. Okay. So did I was you, attentive. Did you, uh, did you I was very attentive. Were, were you like, oh, yeah, hey, let's Just, play together. Let's. Uh... Well, he was only little. So, I mean, he was still very, very small. So it was, there's not really much pain, but it was just like, you're not staying with me. I'm sorry. Just like cuddles. Cuddlerama for that baby. It's really quite a difficult one because, you know, she's clever. Mm. And, you not know. When you're tired. Yeah, mm. but I mean, now you're clever. Ah, uh, because I'm foxing you. You Maybe you're mm. f- out foxing us here with this one. Are you ready, Paul? Are you ready to make your decision? Has Nico done anything similar to that? Like, has he ever. Abandoned? Yeah. He's forgotten or, like, our son yeah, somewhere. Yeah, has he ever. <laughs> No, no, he's no. never done anything like that. Okay. I mean, no, no, he's more likely to take a tumble when he's in Nico's care. Okay, so he's, Nico's like dropped, like dropped him, or like no, made no, he's him never fall dropped over. him, but like they'll go and do a bit more sort of trumbly games. He's a bit more like you know with the, his dad. And does but that, no, no. does it ever worry you like that he might hurt him or something, or that he might get hurt? Or? I mean, I'm always worried. I mean, they went swimming mm. the other day. I was like, don't let him drown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always worried. I'm always worried when he goes out all the time. Mm. But no, he's, mm. it's only been with me. <laughs> abandoned him. The real danger is with you, apparently. Yeah, uh, basically. Hmm. Now, okay. What are you thinking, Luke? I'm, it's really hard to say because on one hand, you kind of think this has to be a lie because A, I mean, I think it's definitely possible, right? I definitely mm. think it's possible. But I'm just trying to think, is this the sort of thing that Amber would admit to? Uh, I can un- I can imagine you telling that story as a lie and then at the end going, well, of course it's a lie. I would mm. never do that. <laughs> and then you save face in a sense, you know. Because I'm by not a terrible it. mother. Because you're not really yeah. on, you know, you, you, you know, like uh, sort of suggesting the idea that it could have happened and maybe the thought has occurred to you or maybe you left him there for a second and then you went back and, you know, you didn't actually go upstairs and make the tea. Mm. I think it's a lie for that reason. Uh, but I, I would not be surprised if it's true because I could definitely imagine something like that happening in the world. You know, a very tired mother kind of with her hands full. You know, it's the sort of thing that could definitely happen. Uh, yeah. But I think in your case that it's mm. nearly true, but it's not true. So mm. I, I think it's a lie. Okay. Paul? Thank you. I imagine, for example, you, you left him in the, in the, the bike storage room and you, let, and you closed the door... And, and then, then you I got remember. to the lift and then you realised, oh God, and then you went back. But you didn't get all the way upstairs and have a cup of tea. Yeah, I wish That's I did much. have a lift. That would be yeah, amazing. Yeah, stairs, lift, mm. stairs. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm going to go with a lie as well. Mm. Well, careful. She's going to get two points if that's true. If, if well, st- we tried doing this tactical bullshit last time and I <laughs> failed. <laughs> yeah, and right. it meant that I ended up... Be- so I'm not going to play the tactical game to be like, oh, well, in case, you know, because basically, yeah, sh- she could get two points. But if, all right, if, all right, if I say it's true and it's not, mm-hmm. then you'll only get one point. But yeah. then I'll get zero points and then you'll mm-hmm. get one point. True. So you'll both get one point 
and I'll be on fuck all. So the st- it's either, yeah. Yeah. So? I'm going to say it's... A- just, just, <laughs> just say... Just I, I'm going to say it's a lie, and I've got a couple of reasons. Okay. Uh, All right. Well, one, it's the... the um, there was a a point where you were t- saying, yeah, you, like you said it a couple of times. It's like, yeah, you know, when you get in and you just want to, you put your bags down and you make it, you put the kettle on. You said that a couple of times. I feel like the kettle was an added, like, I feel like it could be a, um, a detail, a detail that you added to the story to make it sound more like you were talking about more details. Mm. Uh, and you try and justify it the, sec- the second or third time. You said, I don't know. I'm just going to go light. It's just a, the cup of tea is a bit too much. Tea's mm. too much. It's just that, Extra detail is just <sighs> unbelievable. Mm. Oh, I don't know what to do. Am I going to say true just to... Um, five seconds, five. Four. Three. Two. One. I'm going to say it's a lie. A <gasps> lie as well. Okay, so we both think it's a lie. Amber? Yeah, it's a lie. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, but right. it's based on a truth. Right, based on a true story. My mum left me at the bank when I was a baby really? and went home. Really? <laughs> yeah, which is way further and more oh, extreme. Left the bank. Your yeah. mum left you at the bank? The bank, yeah. Oh my goodness. So, um, yeah. So she forgot me completely. Um, and I was like, man, that could, I could see how that can, but I can see how that can yeah. happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although it's never happened to me. I don't, yeah. At the bank, really? How mm. old were you? Baby. I don't really? know. Yeah. Wow, and it, it, and that's what she said. She just got home. She was like, "I just unpacked the shopping," and then I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> and then the she was like, "I left bank. my credit card at the bank," and then she got to the bank. It's she was in like, the pram. Oh, and my baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, my baby's here too. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, I've got a baby. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, Paul, we both just scored a point. One there. point each. One point for Paul Taylor. Nice. And- uh, one point for me and zero, zero for Amber in the first round there. I'm glad you had mm. faith that I wouldn't yeah. actually leave my yeah. chance. Yeah, I think it's possible, but, I, you know, I, I mm. think it's, uh, no, no. Yeah, I okay. Mean, okay, good.